Hello, friends, and welcome to a fantastic art lesson. This one intertwines aspects of geometry and math. It's pretty cool. You're going to need the following materials to do this. A piece of graph paper, a ruler, a pair of scissors, a glue stick, and also some beautiful colored pencils. We are going to be making a triflexagon, and to do that, we're going to have to measure some stuff out. So, let's get started. Now, you're probably going to need the entire sheet of paper to do this, so make sure you're measuring very carefully. Uh, we really don't actually have to do too much measuring, but we will need this straight edge to make nice straight lines. And we're going to begin by making equilateral triangles. Remember, that's a triangle that has three sides that are all equal. And I've got a little trick for you to help you with that. Go ahead to the very first line you can see on your graph paper and take your pencil and count over a line that goes seven spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So you should have a line that is seven spaces. Now go to the middle of that line. That would be about three and a half spaces and count up six. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and put a dot right in the center between those two lines, then connect it to the other two points, creating three vertices and also an equilateral triangle. Check it out. It's pretty cool. Now we've got to make a whole bunch more of these, so we're going to create a set of five of these. So go ahead and just keep counting by sevens until you've got all the triangles out. And I'm putting notches along the way so I remember where the sides of my triangles are going to be. And one more. Now I'm going to do the same thing I did the last time. I'm going to find the middle of each of these bases, count up six, make a dot, and connect them. And I can actually find all those peaks. They're pretty obvious now. And then I'm going to connect all of those dots to create a nice set of equilateral triangles. A straight edge is very important. Everything needs to be as exact as possible, or there may be some rough edges on this triflexagon that we are making. Now, in actuality, we're going to be making 10 equilateral triangles. Oh, I could almost just hear that groan just now. But actually, this next step is going to be super easy. To create these other triangles, we're just going to create one more. Ready for this? We're going to go up here, and now we're going to count over seven spaces. Be careful. Remember, that point is halfway between, so our end point, yes, is going to be uh, in between two other lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven is going to be right there. I'm going to connect one side to that vertex over there, and then this is the next step. I'm going to create a line that goes from that point all the way to the peak of that first triangle I created. And stop right there. Fantastic. Look at that beautiful set of triangles. Okay, the next step is to cut this out. So get a pair of scissors and go ahead and cut that out. Make sure to cut carefully along your lines. And don't cut the triangles out. Just cut along the outside line of the whole strip of triangles. Better to do it very slow and carefully than to try to speed through it and clip the vertex off a triangle. Now we're coming around the corner here, heading back home. 
cutting so carefully along that line. Another option is to take your straight edge and a nice pen knife or exacto knife to cut this out and be extremely accurate. All right, and when you're done, it should look very much like this. Okay, we don't need this anymore. You can put that aside. You might be able to make another uh, strip or two just like this out of that one piece of paper. So save that for a little bit later. The next step is the folding. That's going to be a whole bunch of fun. This is the step where you're going to need the glue in just a moment. Watch carefully as I fold this and follow along. We're going to take it from this side and we're going to fold along this line. Now you can use a ruler to make that very easy, but it might be hard to show you doing that at the same time as folding it. I am going to fold so carefully along that line and fold the paper behind these three equilateral triangles. It looks like the bottom of a, yeah, a hexagon, right? Pretty cool. Okay, the next step is we're going to take and fold along this line. I know you can't see it. It's this line right here. Watch closely. I'm going to fold back like this. And hey, these little equilateral triangles are so equivalent to each other, they will actually help me make some pretty decent folds. There we go. Okay, take this bit and flip it right over the front. And then do you see that last triangle right there? We're going to put some glue on the back. This is Dear Superior glue. It's pretty fantastic. It looks purple right now, but I promise you it will be clear. So I'm going to put some glue right on the back of that triangle. Make sure to get it really good. And then we're going to fold that one. Here's from the front again. We're going to fold that one right over and onto this other one here very carefully. Look at that excess glue. I think we can just wipe that right off there. Eh, it'll disappear anyway. Okay, at this point your folding is done and you should have something that looks like this. Uh, what I'm going to ask you to do is just leave it for a moment, make sure to cap your glue, and also to let the glue on your triflexagon dry. I'm going to speed this up for a moment. All right! all nice and dry. So what you're going to do next is just give this a fold along each axis. So fold it in half and then rotate it and fold it in half and then rotate it and fold it in half along that last axis. That'll make it flex much easier and to make sure it's flexing both ways fold it to the back as well along each axis. Fantastic. Okay, here's the best part. Now, I don't really want to reveal all the secrets to you just yet. I want you to grab those colored pencils you have, and I have three beautiful colors, and I want you to get on to coloring this. I'm going to speed that up too. Watch this. That was pretty cool. Oh, don't forget to color the other side as well. Once you've done that, well, speaking of other side, yes, there's two sides. Or are there? You may notice there's some areas where it sort of separates. Go ahead and pinch those three areas. And what you may find is actually you're not done. You have a whole nother side to color. And uh, once you're done with that one, don't forget to pinch again so that you can find the side that you lost. How cool is that? Now this is the Triflexagon. It's a fun little toy and you know, instead of doing just flat colors, you could try drawing pictures. Maybe an insect or the sun or the stars, making it change some really cool things. Or even, what about a picture of you glued over that? Now you can use also a uh, firmer paper like cardstock to do this. 
And if you're really thinking this is pretty cool, feel free to check around for the hexaflexagon. That one's even crazier. All right, have fun doing this. And you know, if you're having trouble measuring all this out on the piece of graph paper, check the drive. There's a template in there to help you get started. Have fun.